Maybe. All right. Judy Weinberger versus Chelsea Cotterman. Present, Your Honor. Here we go. Ed Taylor appearing on behalf of Ms. Weinberger. I'm here. Okay. I, I hear, I'm here, everybody's Judy, here. I Judy need Weinberger's here. Chelsea okay. Cotterman's here. Chelsea, say your name again. You're not coming up on my screen. Chelsea Cotterman's here. Okay, there you are. Okay. All right. All right. This is why do I have a motion for from May twenty seventh? Now I have a motion for court intervention. What is that about? Um, you Honor, if I may, there's a plumbing yeah. problem. This is attorney Edward Taylor, Ms. Weinberg. There's a plumbing problem and uh, Mrs. Weinberg has not been allowed to go in and, and fix the problem. These are all lies, Your Honor. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. That's first of all, not how we work in court. Okay. You know, just yell out. I'm gonna give everybody an opportunity to talk to me. Mr. Taylor, okay. go ahead, please. Yes, uh, Your Honor, there was an accident on the uh, upper level apartment and the lower unit person left because it caused extensive damage. Uh, Ms. Weinberg attempted to go in and fix the problem, but the tenants would not allow her to go in. So she also volunteered to put these uh, the tenants up in an apartment, um, in a hotel room, and they refused to go. So at this point, the lease was over June 30th. She wants her possession of her property back, Your Honor. Okay, but that's not going to happen right now. I've got a hearing on possession set for the A. Then I don't know why this is. This is because of the plumbing problem, Your Honor. She she needs to get in there and fix the problem and they won't allow her in. All right. Okay. Ms. Cotterman, yes, what's your Your position on this? Okay. So I have been without water since Memorial Day and I have uh, contacted the attorney general back in April 8th and I filed a motion and her, her lawyer, Judy Weinberger's lawyer, uh, got in the way and said that they were, we were already in a motion with court with the Sarah thing that you are going to see me again on the 8th for and blocked it. So then so she's saying that we are the problems to cause the, the plumbing issue when she was the one blocking my phone calls and not answering me from April 8th, causing this whole issue to happen. And now since she busted in my house I, on Memorial Day. Sorry, go ahead, Your Honor. Thank you. Sorry. So why is the water off? I can answer that, Your Honor. I why can answer it? that. Okay. On, on Memorial Day, the tenant in the lower apartment came home from a trip to find her apartment flooded. The ceiling literally caved in on her, on her possessions, and there was water, sewage water, all over the apartment. We cannot find where it's leaking, but Ms. Cotterman informed me that the upstairs bathroom flooded and we had to turn off the water to stop it leaking all over and damaging the property. But since that, she has not allowed anyone in to fix anything. All right, Ms. Cotterman, why haven't you allowed anybody in, if that's true? She, had, she did not give me any notice. All right, I'm going to- No, 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 but, but I did give her notice. Stop, stop, stop. This is stupid. If right. you got water in your apartment, you let the landlord in so they can fix it. I, no, I tried to- Notice or not notice. Don't, don't interrupt me. When do you want to go in? If you're asking me, I'd like to go in as soon as possible with a plumber. Okay, I can't put just ASAP. When day do you want to go in? Um, Tuesday. Tuesday, the 5th of July. 
Council, I need you to prepare an order for the court signature and get that over to the court. I'm going to order that the plaintiff may enter the premises to accomplish necessary repairs to the property. That will that permission to enter the premises and do what is necessary shall be for all of July 5th, the whole day into the night. Sir? That order is entered pursuant to MCR 4.201H. And that's for the preservation of the property. Sir? Yes. May I add something here? Sure, you won. Now go ahead and I guess snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Go ahead. When, when this occurred, I was able to take a plumber into the bathroom that flooded and he already told me they have to take apart the bathroom floor to find what is leaking. It will take up to a week. When this occurred, I offered Miss Cotterman a week stay in a hotel so that I could fix it. And she refused. Look, I'm ordering the motion that I have here is to order is to allow you into the premises to fix it. If you still want to pay for a hotel, I read that part and she doesn't want to go or wants a certain kind of hotel. I can't do anything about, I'm not going to do anything about that at this point. I, I don't, I don't want anything about that. I'm saying I may need a couple of days. I'm giving you the fifth. Okay. You guys are coming back on the 8th. So if it doesn't get done on the 5th, I'll rule again on the 8th as to what needs to happen. But you get as much done on that part. I just can't believe you guys can't even come together to even just make a common sense decision. Counsel for the plaintiff, prepare the order, get it to the court for my signature. Sir, I have okay. one other question for you. Her lease ended yesterday. She has no okay. lease. Okay, that's fine. Why that, was not a, that was not a question. That was a statement. That's a statement, but the statement was because we have an eviction. We're asking for an eviction. This is why you have a lawyer. We'll see you on the 